Hey there folks, I was out at the Goodwill yesterday, just looking, came across this really cool thing. Kind of a little camp bush pot type deal, made out of aluminum, and I almost didn't buy it. Price tag on it was $3, but... I don't know if you can see, I can get it at a better angle. It's kind of got this concave lid. And I'm thinking, you know what? That would be a really cool kind of Dutch oven slash camp pot type of deal. And it did have a little plastic handle on it. So I just went to the hardware store. Got maybe this is a carriage bolt or something. Ran a couple nuts through there. Holds it up. Easy on, easy off. So, a little thing what I'm going to do today, other than show you this, must have had some kind of handle that sat in there or something that, I don't know, pot grabber might handle, but anyway, the thing don't weigh anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bush pot, new thing, try out my new pot here, and make a chicken pot pie. Tune, I'll be back with you. So what I got here now is the initial fire lay we're going to get ready. I don't know, I'm bringing in really close. You can see it, what I'm using as a tinder bundle now is nothing but pretty much a ripped up cardboard box. Uh, and anyway, I've been doing this for years. I tear it up and take the layers apart and they make nice little curly cues. You can just slide it up super easy. It is really windy out here today, too. But they take off pretty quick. So kind of quick and easy. The idea here is I'm gonna actually move these coals around, because this, like I said, this pot is aluminum. And it is fairly thin, it just does seem sturdy, though. But I think it's going to conduct a lot of heat. And um, you'll see how this goes. Basically, I'm going to cook up the chicken, put some vegetables in there, some other stuff. And then I'm going to show you a really cool way how to make the top with uh, just that water biscuit mix. And then throw the coals on top of this concave lid. And it hopefully, if everything goes right, it should act just like an oven. And I'm going to have a really good chicken pot pie. I do this all the time in like casserole dishes or stuff. If I just want one for myself, I have them Cornell ware, little individual, looks like a big soup cup. And I do them in the oven all the time, actually. They're really, really good. Beats store-bought stuff. So stay tuned, we're gonna get this on a fire and get cooking for you. So I am telling you, this little stick fire is hot. But what I got here is a little extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to have my chicken cooking away here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some carrots and some celery and some onions. Let them cook for a little bit. Add some potatoes and you just have to stick around and find out what happens next. Stay tuned. All right, so I just added carrots, celery, and some onion to it. Been stirring it up, whatever, and we're going to season it. And this is going to be with regular table salt and some fresh ground pepper. Love the fresh ground pepper. I don't like the shaker, table, pepper, whatever. I got a big pepper mill, and I grind my pepper. So what we're going to do, stir that around. I'm going to add some water, and then I was going to put the potatoes in, but... Had them all pretty much there, pretty much every prepared everything, cut everything up in the house. The potatoes are turning brown, which they'd probably still be edible, but I think what I'm gonna do is while this is cooking and getting happy, I'm gonna go peel and dice and let her potato. So be back with you again, folks. Alright, folks, so I have Went in the house and peeled and diced up another potato. Put a little bit more water in there. And I added a bouillon cube. And how I normally do this, it um, actually isn't even normally, it goes back and forth. Is before sometimes um, 
before I would add any water, I would add some flour to it. And you're just gonna have to keep this in mind. I don't cook with recipes. I just, I just kind of cook. So basically, what I would do is just sprinkle a little bit of flour in there. And then I would probably add like, if I was making this for myself, like an individual kind of thing, probably two, even maybe three bouillon cubes um, to some water, and then that will thicken up, and basically that will be kind of my broth or gravy for the chicken pot pie or whatever. So. What and then another time what I do is show you here real quick. I add cream of chicken. Campbell's cream of chicken. It um actually tastes a little bit better than using the bouillon cubes and the flour. And I guess I don't know what more I could say about that, but I'm gonna in this I'm gonna put about half of this can. So I'm actually gonna do that now and then I'm gonna get my biscuit mix ready and bring you back for that so this thing's cooking away i'm sure everything in there is nice and happy so be back with you really soon all right the little bush pot camp pot whatever is cooking away and actually it's time i need to get the biscuit mix and what i use is this this is basically just add water biscuit mix and roughly, I have about half of what come in this package in this bag. And I'm just going to mix that up real quick. And then I'm going to dump it on there. And then we're going to move on to the next step of putting the coals on uh, the top of the bush pot. So I'll bring you back and we'll get all this uh, biscuit mix done. Okay, so... Got the biscuit mix all mixed up here. I'll show you here in a second. But basically, the cream of chicken soup is in there, about half a can. All the vegetables, and it looks just about good enough to eat right now, doesn't it? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it a little bit better. So, got my biscuit mix mixed up here in this bag. And if you've never seen this, just bring the bags, biscuit mix, pancake mix, whatever you want, mix it up in the bag and then burn the bag basically so what I'm gonna do is pretty much I'm gonna bite off a corner of this and I'm going to start dumping it right in right on top of it and this will soak up probably about half the liquid that's in there so you kind of want a bit you know soupy consistency or whatever it ain't gonna hurt nothing you know you don't want a dry meal right so this is what we're going to do. Stick around. Those have actually been burning on top of there for a while. And there's a flame on top because I actually just blew on it to make sure they're hot. But they're plenty hot. Um, basically, the directions on a biscuit, bis, biscuit mix says cook for like 15 minutes at 450 degrees. And I've made them several times and it's pretty right on accurate. Um, beans, I'm doing it this way, and this is the first time using this little pot. I'm going to let this go a little while. And actually, when I cook outdoors, grill, do anything, I like the low and slow thing. I'm in no hurry to get anything done. It's basically done when it's done, and almost kind of the longer, the better. I just am a low and slow kind of guy. So, anyways, that's the update for tonight. We're just gonna let this cook away and when I feel I guess that it's done I'll show you the finished product so stay tuned hang in there all right welcome back I just actually took a sneak peek at this um, just um, take take a look at this there's our lid coals are kicking it all right it burnt a little bit of the top, but look at the rest of it, right? Like I said, I haven't cooked with this pot. And you know, that little bit of burnt stuff don't bother me at all. But look at the rest of it, right? It's like perfectly done. Everything. And this thing is going to be so delicious, it's going to be ridiculous. So, next stop is a taste test. So stick around. 
tell you what it tastes like. So, folks, thanks for sticking around. I'm actually back in the house now. I didn't go do out this. Didn't go do this out in the woods or whatever. Did in the backyard. It's been really cold. Like I said, living in northern Illinois. This is only like the second day. It's been really, really nice. And like I said, I ain't never cooked with this bush pot before. Cook pot, camp pot, whatever you want to call it. But I thought I would like really like make a decent Dutch oven kind of thing and do this recipe that I do at home, which I did out in the backyard really well. So anyways, here's what the final product looks like. And yep, we got that burnt spot. But here's what really happened. Is putting the coals on top, the biscuit makes rose, and it actually stuck to this lid. Which is the only reason that that burnt. But anyways, all the rest of this is like perfectly done. And it's going to be a magnificent dinner for me tonight. I mean, just check it out. Alright? So we're going to give it a taste test here. I'm going to try to get a piece of chicken. What I basically do, I just kind of mash all this stuff down, mash it together. Let everything soak up. Before I eat it. Should be really good. It's really going to be really, really hot. Oh my goodness. There's a good bite. So hang on, I gotta put you down a minute, pick you back up, and I'm gonna take this bite and let you know how it is. So here we are. Gonna eat this. Wow. Extremely hot. And basically, probably, I cook a lot of food. And I just throw stuff in my mouth right out the skillet, right out the whatever. That is really, really hot. Wow. But I'm telling you what, it tastes good. This needs some time to cool down. Wow. As you probably can guess by my expression, it was extraordinarily hot. It was extremely hot. Oh my goodness. But I'm going to tell you what. As hot as it was, this really, really tastes good. So, folks, I hope you, that you like this. This is my first YouTube video ever. Um, I hope I covered things, like, well for you. Like, if you were to go out and try and do this, maybe I'll um, show it again. Hot. But, oh, so good. It's so ridiculously good. Love this. Love it. Wow. It ain't a, um, it's not a five minute meal by any means. Probably could be. Maybe we got a large dust oven. I still don't think you're going to get it in five minutes, but. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Yeah. Really, really, really good. Hot. But man, I'm telling you what. Flavors explode, and this is so good. This is so good, I can only imagine being in the woods and having an overnighter. Camping, bushcrafting, whatever you want to do. This is definitely something that you want to have in the back of your head. Mm, so good. It is so good. Well, folks, 